Glenn with a nice block there, pushing those defensive linemen away on that uh, goal line play. Glenn made a great block there as the left guard. You know, we recruit players because of the families and the parents they come from. And if it wasn't for the parents, uh, a lot of these guys wouldn't be at UC. But that's a great example of how close our team is. Well, Dave, I think it's a mutual admiration society because all the parents say what a great direction the UC football program's headed. Well, we're sure pleased with the direction we are going. And we just now, it's on to Alabama. Well, first it's on to Curry's Clinic. Dave, tell us, what's your subject this week? We're going to talk a little bit about the uh, short yardage and goal line play, of which we used effectively uh, Saturday night. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Our clinic play today deals with short yardage and goal line situations. We have a play called 24 lead, and that play is the tailback running the ball over the four hole, which is between the right guard and the center. The most important part of this play now is backside blocking or alignment away from the hole. In fact, they must wedge down towards the hole on both sides, thus keeping people from penetrating. And then the fullback will lead through the hole after the inside linebacker. And of course, the tailback will take the ball from the quarterback, and as he leads through the, 20, the four hole, he must find a seam or a crease or in some cases jump over the top for the first down or the touchdown. This is 24 lead used on the goal line in short yardage situations. I think Reggie did all of those that you talked about. He jumped, he found the seam, he did the whole bit. Well, he did pick the crease here and he spins to his left and gets in the end zone. And of course, this was the winning play last night. The pictures just speak for themselves. I'm still flabbergasted by the whole thing. I'm sorry. I'm just, I can't believe it. Well, it's a great win. It was. When we come back, we'll talk about Alabama, next week's victim, hopefully, when the Bearcats try to make it 4-0. Stay with us. Welcome back. Dave, next week, Alabama down in Tuscaloosa. Last year, they beat you 29-7 here. And this year, they've already beaten Georgia and Texas A&M. Well, Alabama had a similar game to ours last night with Georgia, their opening game. And uh, UC has never beaten an Alabama team. They're 2-0 and this year, a nationally ranked football team. This will be our biggest test this year by far. What's going to be the key for a big victory down in Tuscaloosa? Well, we have to lick our wounds right now. We're physically, we're banged up a little bit. We need to have a good week of practice. And once again, get that uh, group of guys that believe in themselves and go down there and play uh, very hard, aggressive, airless football. Well, it'll be Alabama and UC next Saturday night down in Tuscaloosa, Saturday afternoon down in Tuscaloosa. You'll see the highlights here on the Dave Curry Show next Sunday. Be sure and join us. I'm Mike Greta for Dave Curry. Thanks for watching. The Dave Curry Show has been brought to you by... Pepsi-Cola, General Bottlers of Cincinnati, and by Cincinnati Gas and Electric, the energy service company, and by Central Trust, your financial center, and by Provident Travel, managing travel everywhere under the sun.